आई होप एवरीथिंग इज गुड हाँ फास्ट फास्ट करेंगे अभी तो आई हूँ अभी मेरे को दौड़ा दो तुम लोग हाँ लास्ट सेशन है यार चिल मारो थोड़ा सा ठीक है जस्ट गिव मे मिनट लेट मी रिकॉल All right. So everything is fine. All right. Uh, everything is visible. Let's start uh, with the question first. What is the tetanizing frequency if a muscle contraction period is forty millisecond? So how do you calculate tetanizing frequency? One upon contraction period. This one is a complete second. Please remember that. Right. They have given forty milliseconds. So you have to convert that forty milliseconds into seconds. So that is going to be zero point zero four seconds. So one upon zero point zero four, bolo. Yeah, then hundred upon four. Karo. So what is going to be the answer? It is going to be twenty five hertz. Twenty five hertz, right? So I hope this is audible. Right. So this is going to be the answer over here. Which of the following pulse is based on the Frank Starling law? Frank Starling law says what input is directly proportional to the output, isn't it? What is the input? Input is nothing but the venous return. Output is nothing but the cardiac output. And you know, whenever the venous return is going to come in your right atrium, what is going to happen? It is going to cause. Uh, it is going to either stimulate or it is going to inhibit the SA node directly. It is going to affect your SA node. And please remember, it is going to affect the ventricular filling, and because of which you are going to have pulses alterans. So actually, it should be atrial filling, right? So pulses alterans is going to be the better answer, right? If I have any question, I know, I know, beta. राइट पांच बजे से मेरी भी क्लास चल रही है विल फिनिश इट फाइव मिनट्स डोंट वरी है ना बेजोल जारिश आ गया राइट बेजोल जारिश व्हाट आई टोल्ड यू जारिश सो क्या माफ किया हाइपोटेंशन ब्रैडी कार्डिया एंड रेस्पिरेटरी रेट इज गोइंग टू डिक्रीज सो हाइपोटेंशन ब्रैडी कार्डिया नथिंग इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज बेजोल जारिश बिजार चीजें दोगे अल्कलाइड चीजें दोगे सस्ते नशे करोगे यू गोइंग टू हैव डिक्रीज इन द ब्लड प्रेशर डिक्रीज इन द रेस्पिरेटरी रेट एंड डिक्रीज इन द हार्ट रेट दैट इज गोइंग टू बी ब्रैडी कार्डिया एंड हाइपोटेंशन व्हिच इज गोइंग टू बी करेक्ट ओवर हिया टाइट जंक्शन आर लोकेटेड टेल मी इफ एवरीथिंग इज करेक्ट है ना टाइट जंक्शन आर लोकेटेड सी टाइट जंक्शन आर गोइंग टू बी बिटवीन टू सर्स राइट एंड आई डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू अलाउ द पैरा सेल्युलर ट्रांसपोर्ट पैरा सेल्युलर ट्रांसपोर्ट अलाउ नहीं करना है एंड दैट्स वाई आई एम गोइंग टू हैव दैट ऑन दी अपाइकल साइड ऑफकोर्स बिटवीन टू सर्स दैट मीन्स लैटरली तो है इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी बेजल राइट इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी अपाइकल आई हैव टू प्रिवेंट द पैरा सेल्युलर ट्रांसपोर्ट इट इज गोइंग टू की अपाइको अपाइकल राइट Hypopnea was one of the option, is it? Hypertension or tachycardia? Me se kya nahi tha, beta? Mukul, Parul, uh, Rithik, Ayush. Hypopnea was the option. Yes, if the hypopnea will be there, then add the hypopnea also. I'll correct that. Okay. Kaun sa wala option nahi tha, beta? Which option was not there? Bradypnea or hypopnea was there? Then it is going to be bradypnea. Bradypnea, ha option me. You have to include that also. Everything decreases. Three things decreases. That is the triad. Okay. Okay. Hypertension was not there. Okay. Instead of hypertension, we had a bradi ah uh, bradypnea or hypopnea. ठीक है. That. Thank you. Thank you very much. चलो. आगे बढ़ते हैं. If any other options were uh, wrong, please let me know. I'll correct it accordingly. Okay. चलो. Fast fast करते हैं. High altitude. When you go at a high altitude, there will be hypoxia, and that's why. What the patient will do? Patient will start respiring quickly. So what is going to happen? Of course, there is hyperventilation, and hyperventilation se kya hoga? Of course, you are going to breathe faster. So increase in the inspiration as well as increase in the expiration. And when you increase expiration, there will be increased CO two wash out. CO two is the main stimulus. If more more than CO two wash Shock is going to take place. That means acid is going out. Uh, alkalosis is going to be there, and this is because of the respiratory system. There is no problem in the kidneys per se, right? And I'm going to mark it as respiratory alkalosis, right? The options were simple, and this question was simple. I hope uh, this is correct. Okay, this was the question. I hope everybody, this is correct. All right. 
hypertension was not there, I marked that. Okay. Let me know if the question was correct. What is seen in the high altitude? High altitude, may you're going to see the respiratory alkalosis because of the carbon dioxide washout. Next, surface tension in the alveoli increased during pucha hai. I told you, if I have, let's say, 10 molecule of surface uh, surfactants, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You can see there is an air-water interface. They're packing together. This is a depleted alveoli. That means during the expiration. But if I draw the same uh, surfactants over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There is a lot more space available to interact the air and water. Air-water interface is going to be high. Air-water interface means the surface tension is going to be higher during inspiration it does not change on the position it does not change on the position rather it is going to be affected due to concentration concentration of the surfactant we have discussed that multiple times right because during the inspiration or inflation of the alveoli there is a decrease of concentration of surfactant per unit area remember that and that's why you're going to have higher air water interface. Higher is going to be the surface tension. Higher is going to be the surface tension. Next, which is responsible for explicit memory? I told you when the person expires, you declare the pressure. That means they're talking about declarative memory. Declarative memory is of two types, events or facts. Facts is going to be because of frontal and temporal. Dono hi option mein nahi hai. It is facts that is uh, frontal, I told you, prefrontal cortex and temporal lobe. Dono hi option mein nahi hai. Both of them are not in the option. So I have to go with the episodic memory. Episodic memory. I told you, you remember one episode, uh, neo, tempo, hippo. So neocortex, temporal lobe and hippocampus. Right, these things are important and out of it, I have the hippocampus into the option. Cerebellum was one of the option, does not matter, but um, Amrita Ancha, even if the cerebellum is there, cerebellum is not going to help me in the declarative memory. It is going to help me in the non-declarative or implicit type of memory. Skills, mein wo, that is going to help me out. Procedural memory, mein, it is not going to help me out. Uh, cerebellum tha Amrita Ancha, to kya nahi tha beta? What was not there in the option? Please let me know. Okay. Conditions may be. Conditional memory. Classical conditioning may be. Cerebellum is going to help me out. But that is a part of implicit memory. Not the explicit. All right. Uh, feed forward. Feed forward mechanism. Aate hai uspe. Center. Which causes fever during in, uh, infection. Fever means what? Increase in the body temperature. No. Increase in the body temperature. What I told you, increase in the body temperature in that posterior nucleus of hypothalamus is going to help me out. Uh, right. And decrease in the body temperature in the hot environment, anterior nucleus of the hypothalamus is going to help me out. Para, para, uh, vala nucleus, paraventricular nucleus releases oxytocin and it is important for the autonomic nervous system regulation also, but not in the Temperature regulation, dorsomedial. Dorsomedial is mainly going to be uh, important for, uh, with the lateral, it is going to cause satiety also, but it is not going to help me in the temperature. Amygdala to roll in the temperature, mein, so it is going to be hypothalamus. Uh, I hope uh, any nucleus was given. If it is the nucleus, then it is going to be. Acha singular guidance was not there. Take care. All right. Yes, it was... Then, so fever, right? So hypothalamus was not there. So kya option mein tha, beta? What was there in the option? There must be some nucleus which must be given to the option, hai na? Okay, dorsal nucleus tha, dorsomedial nahi tha, dorsal bolo, posterior bolo, baat hi ki hai. And if it is not there, cerebellum tha. And the hypothalamus was not there in the option and dorsomedial nahi tha, dorsal tha. Dorsal bolo, posterior bolo, ek hi baat hai. So I'm going to mark them as a dorsal nucleus. If hypothalamus was not there in the option, cerebellum was there, mark the dorsal nucleus. Dorsal posterior, ek hi baat hai. Okay, 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 chalo. Aage badde hai. Patient asked to close his eyes and then reopen it. Pehle close tha, phir reopen kiya. Now, as soon as he reopens it, uh, which of the following EEG wave shows the decrease uh, upon the shows the decrease upon the eye opening? 
what is the wave which is going to decrease opening may which is going to go opening may you are going to have uh, a beta wave and alpha wave will be gone eyes closed patient is awake meditation position alpha waves right so that was there okay shallow next let's move on to the next question uh, which of the following example is of feed forward? But a little bit time ke baad, INICT in a feed forward pucha hai. I told you temperature is both. If it is a four body temperature, you are going to have the feed forward. If it is a shell body temperature or skin body temperature, it is going to be negative feedback mechanism, negative feedback. Feed forward may the correction is going to occur. It's an anticipatory na. Correction is going to occur even before the variable has been changed. Right, even before the variable has been changed. So, if they are asking about after, see, vasoconstriction after the exposure of cold, after hai to nahi hoga na? After the exposure of cold, that means it is occurring after the stimulation has been given, after the variable has been changed. So, it is going to be feedback again. Increase in the heart rate on standing from the supine position. Again, you are standing, that, that is going to be the acting as a stimulus. Before standing, it started to prepare or before doing the exercise, it started to prepare, then it is going to be feed forward. But they are asking after giving the stimulus feedback. After giving the stimulus feedback. Okay. Kya tha? Fir option mein aur kya tha? Temperature not there in the option. So option mein kya tha? Shall be all to correct, uh, incorrect nahi ho sakte. Give me the options then. Give me the options. We'll discuss it over here. Okay. Increase in the cardiac output in the response of anemia. Response pucha hai, after pucha hai, this is not going to be true. All right. So temperature nahi tha, what was there in the option? Uh, temperature tha, temperature nahi tha. Okay. Deepak, we will come on to the next question. Iske options batao. What was the option in the feed forward mechanism? Feed forward was there. Because in both the uh, WhatsApp also and on the Telegram also, I got that. Vasoconstriction of the vessel. Vasopressin in the dehydration. Was that the option here? What are the other options? What are the other options? Okay, this was not there. What was the other options? Vasopressin was there. But vasopressin ke liye bhi also you require a stimulus. You require a stimulus. Vasopressin cannot be the answer. Anticipating the cold. Kartike, was that the option? Okay. Kartike is saying con constriction in the anticipation. Agar word mein hi diya hua hai anticipation, to to yehi answer hoga. Anticipation of the cold. But hota nahi hai aisa usually. But thik hai. If that was the option given, anticipation likha hi hua hai, to to baat hi khatam na yaar. Dehydration again a stimulus. What are the other two options then? Other two options are correct. Other two options are correct. Feed forward may vasopressin, but vasopressin ke liye you require a stimulus. Without the stimulus, it is not going to get activated or released. After the dehydration. Okay, ADH. After the dehydration. After the to bati katam yaar. After means you are giving the stimulus. This was one of the option. Was it the option in response to cold tha ya anticipation cold tha? Then what was the other option? Feed forward ka other option kya the? Other do options batao. Is it correct? Anemia and supine position wala correct hai? Is it correct? Controversy. All right. Shalom. Let's move on and uh, I'll collect the correct options and then we'll come back to this. Now, uh, FEV1 percentage was reduced. Shalom. Okay, next question. FEV1 was reduced and uh, they have asked uh, in age of the patient was 42. Right. And they have asked which of the following is true. 
air trapping means it can be because of the obstructive lung disease. One of the obstruction is going to be emphysema. Remember, if FEV1 is decreased, I told you it must be the obstructive lung disease in which it is going to be decreased, right? And air trapping, ho hai, that means the patient is going to have obstructive lung disease. I hope one of the student told me, ma'am, COPD was there in the option. I hope COPD was not there. Even if the COPD is there, or air trapping is there, the answer is going to be this. It is not going to be age related. Okay, age related may kabhi bhi air trapping ho sakta hai, but that is not going to be the obstructive wala problem. Both are going to de uh, decrease there, right? So, uh, reduce compliance nahi hoga, increase compliance hoga, restrictor may it is going to be increased. It is going to be increased. Air trapping plus hyperinflation tha. Okay, obstruction nahi tha plus hyperinflation tha. So, that is going to be the one. Most appropriate answer over here. All right, uh, just give me a minute. Next, IGF-1, IGF-2, structurally more similar to, see it is similar to insulin, but it is more similar to the pro-insulin. What is the pro-insulin? Where you have the N-terminal attached and you have that connecting peptide attached, right? So it is going to be the most, uh, you can say, it is going to be the connecting peptide, C-peptide is attached to it. So that is going to be the most uh, Structurally similar to this uh, obstructive plus uh, hyperventilation. Tha. Okay. Check it. Check it. I'll, I'll collect, correct it. Dheeraj, thank you. All right. So obstructive diya hai to toh bhai answer hua. Hai na? So pre-pro nahi hota. Pre-pro mein N-terminal hota. That is not there. Pro-insulin mein connecting peptide attach hota. So it is most uh, commonly resembles to the pro-insulin. Next question. Which of the following is not the mechanism of action of antidiuretic hormone? Water reabsorption kar hai basically antidiuretic hormone is water reabsorption. That is the work, right? And uh, if they ask increase in the urea uh, in the medullary collecting duct, increase absorption of the urea. See, urea is going to go via carrier mediated transport. So if you are reabsorbing more uh, water, you have to maintain the uh, tonicity also in the medullary interstitium can be possible because this is not per se related to the uh, ADH. It is related to the tonicity change that is going to be caused by the ADH. Decrease absorption of NACL in the ascending limb of loop of inlet. Now, remember, it is not an action of antidiuretic. Direct action to koi bhi nahi diya hua. Increases water permeability, that is true. But they have asked, what is not there which is going to occur? Decrease absorption of NaCl. If you want more water, that means there must be hypertonicity in the plasma which is present. To cure that or to compensate that, we are going to decrease the absorption of NaCl. That is the indirect effect. It is not the direct effect, right? But they have given the increased absorption of urea in the descending limb of loop of Henle. Descending limb of loop of Henle is not going to be Descending limb of loop of Henle will not be permeable for urea and that is going to, even if it is there, it will secrete it, not reabsorb it. So this is going to be the option. This is going to be the option. Okay. Which of the following best explains uh, the development of hyponatremia high, uh, and hypovolemic, hyponatremic patient in the diarrhea? Kya explain kar hai? Decrease in the reabsorption of sodium. Kya already hyponatremia hai? The kidneys will try to gain more sodium as much as possible. Secretion of aldosterone will not be decreased, it will be increased. Non-osmotic release of ADH, that is going to be true because there is a hypovolemia also. Hypovolemia is going to stimulate the ADH. Decrease sodium uh, absorption, no, it is going to increase because there is hyponatremia and we want to compensate that. Okay, which of the brain region associated with explicit, we have already done that. This is going to be hippocampus, hippocampus. So that is all from my side, hai na? you don't have a patient. So uh, uh, that is all from my side. Let's collect whenever uh, I get time or you get time, please let me know the options which were correct or any other question was there. Okay, Chalo. so that is all from next side. Uh,